hello and welcome to my channel and today's video which is going to be a doozy uh, I wanted to share my experience about huh, the fact that I had shingles in my 20s like two months ago so I figured that that experience was so traumatizing for me that I would share my story to kind of help other people who are going through this because apparently there's like a, a lot of people who are getting shingles in their 20s 30s and 40s when it used to be a a problem that like 60 and 70 year olds had so if you are interested in hearing my story about that then go ahead and keep on watching so shingles is basically a virus that stays in your body if you've had chickenpox as a child or the chickenpox vaccine. Obviously vaccines back then had some sort of very weakened virus or dead virus, so that is in your body. Once you've had the vaccine or chickenpox, that virus kind of goes into your nervous system and like chills in your spine. And most of the time it used to be like, 50 60 70 people problem it's when your immune system is weakened and things just kind of start popping up and your body can't hold it off anymore and then you get the symptoms of shingles but because of how stressed people are nowadays it is becoming way more relevant to people in their 20s 30s and 40s i've read stories about people in their like teens late teens or like 17 18 19 getting shingles i've seen articles especially related to covid talking about how the stress of covid has brought about a wave of shingles in much younger people so talking about my story sorry i had to adjust that light i developed shingles in middle of march sort of like 16th 17th 18th or something like that because i had started using a new deodorant and i developed a rash basically under the armpit kind of going under here i was like okay so maybe i like use that deodorant and i like scratched underneath my armpit and like breast area it's like okay it'll be fine and as soon as i saw that rash i was like okay i need some like benadryl or something it itches and i expected the next day for it to be better well the next day it kind of got bumpy sorry the sun keeps going in and out so my lighting keeps changing the second day i developed bumps and i was like weird okay it didn't get better overnight i should call my mom she gets rashes pretty often and she's gone to like the dermatologist for it so i was like maybe it's something that like runs in the family so i called my mom and she's like oh you know just like vaseline helps me sometimes or like benadryl it should be fine well the third day and i remember specifically it was like a saturday i woke up and it started to kind of look blistery and i was like okay so maybe something bit me i don't know this is weird and i was like the rash hasn't gotten smaller if anything it spread a little bit more it kind of like wrapped around to like my back area at that point and i was like having a mental breakdown i ended up calling my boyfriend and being like yo whenever you're home from work can we please go to urgent care i don't want to go alone i'm scared but like this rash is getting crazy uh it's blistering at this point and like i know that can't be anything good i would rather have a professional look at it and tell me it's an allergic reaction and feel better about it i don't care about spending the money right now i just need to know what the hell is going on so we ended up going to the urgent care basically she asked me all these questions and was like well usually we do advise people to come in if your rash is blistering because it basically means that it's not really anything common so she poked a couple of those blisters and did like a test and she had to send it to get you know to a lab to get analyzed so i didn't really know for another three to four days it was like a saturday so they probably weren't gonna test it that saturday sunday so like by monday tuesday i was to know what was happening but based off what i was saying because it was kind of itching i kind of like it hurt to like the touch but it like didn't hurt but i would get like these shooting pains and the area that it was in and it wasn't on the other side everything led them to think shingles they gave me antiviral medication to take for seven days three times a day so i went to Publix, got that script filled like last minute had to send it to Publix. it was the only pharmacy open that saturday i was like i need to take these meds now please transfer this please so i can run and get them right now and like start taking them i was taking them for three days until i started seeing any kind of changes in the rash and i was like what if it's not shingles and it's just not helping but by day three like end of day three i started seeing a ch like not a change but it wasn't like as irritated it kind of started feeling a little better it wasn't as painful every night though for like three or four nights i was taking benadryl they said to not put anything on my rash to just let it be if you're taking a shower which you should i took a shower every day once a day i 
didn't really touch the area I would just like run it over with water with kind of cold water to make sure that I'm not irritating it because any heat any kind of rubbing against it can make it worse so I changed my shirt at nighttime and during the day I immediately did that laundry I didn't allow Daniel to like basically be anywhere near it just so that he wouldn't get it which you can't really pass it on unless someone hasn't had chicken pox and then it's kind of problematic because chicken pox in your adult life is like pretty dangerous from what I know so I just wanted to be really safe we didn't use the same towel or anything very very safe I would pat it dry and I wore loose clothing no bras for like that whole seven days couldn't be in the Sun couldn't really get sweaty so basically just like stay home rest because it is a stress related thing so like you having shingles stresses you out so the less stressed out you can be the better so basically you need tons of sleep tons of good food in you I kind of googled what foods are good to decrease like inflammation and shingles ate those foods I think it included pears and sweet potatoes so I definitely ate a lot of those but the crazy thing is like shingles is a nervous system thing I think for me might have been brought out when I went to the chiropractor for a couple of times like two weeks prior because it does sit in your nervous system in your spine so I think maybe being cracked that might have like kind of moved that around and I was like all right we're gonna come and be a thing now in the body I don't know it's not been linked to anything but I think maybe for me that's what it was because I wasn't like stressed out more during the time that I got it than any other time of my life so I'm not quite sure why I specifically got it day three was terrifying because like I started getting numbness in my arm and I was like oh this is the end this is the end I will not make it out but at the end of day three like into day four I felt better that went away and that's kind of when things started getting better it wasn't as irritated it started to slowly clear up and then by like two weeks after I first initially saw it it kind of was done blistering and scabbing over and then it just kind of was like just red kind of like almost like scarring from where the blisters and the actual shingles were so it was quite an extensive process and I feel like the shooting pains lasted for like at least a month for some people if you don't notice fast enough and go to the doctor to get the antivirals the longer you can be affected by like actual pains like after the shingles are actually gone which is kind of terrifying so if you feel like you have any sort of rash just go see a doctor because it did in the beginning just look like a rash and then the day later it started being bumpy and by day three I had the blisters and technically by day three it's already too late for you to really see a difference by taking the antivirals very fast so like if you catch it on day one and you start taking antivirals your time that you're going to have the shingles and the severity of the shingles is going to be so much less than if you let it keep going a lot of times if you're like weeks into having shingles they won't even prescribe you antivirals they'll just like kind of let it run its course the interesting thing is the fact that once you have shingles once you can get it again if you like your immune system is down or if you're really stressed out but your first onset of it is the harshest so like the second or third or fourth time that you get it it will be less dramatic and less scary and obviously by that time it'll be much easier for you to understand that it is shingles and to immediately go get the antivirals the antivirals itself were not as scary as I thought they would be they were like very adamant about the fact that, like these are harsh on your stomach and I have a weak stomach to begin with and like everything makes me sick but I made sure to eat before every single time that I took them I tried to take them around the same time every day so my body wasn't like jolted every time and I didn't actually have any kind of like really anything out of the ordinary or scary when it came to like stomach issues from them so that was really nice definitely like to say that it's going to be okay the medication will help and to just try to be the least amount stressed out from this situation I know that it's hard but it's not anything that you did and it's something that your body just went through and it will go through and you'll be fine after so if you have any questions please make sure to comment down below or find me on Instagram I would be happy to answer and help in any way that I can because I know how scary the process is and how scary it is to go alone with all these questions and not having anywhere really to turn to ask anybody about it so leave them down below or find me on Instagram and I will for sure respond back as soon as I can happy healing i hope that you stay uplifted and positive get a ton of rest eat good food and take care of yourself thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one Bye.